I'm going to show you how to easily generate a frequency response plot in MathCAD. And we're going to show this example by uh, looking at the second order transfer function, g sub s. It's uh, second order, and I've also identified a uh, damping ratio here that I'm passing as an additional optional argument uh, for the purpose of uh, basically exploring how the frequency response is affected by the damping ratio. So the easiest way to make a frequency response plot is just to drop a two-dimensional uh, plot onto your screen, onto your, your uh, worksheet, and I want to plot versus frequency. It doesn't matter what you name the variable. Now I'm going to frequency response is is j times j omega or j times two pi uh, frequency. So let me put frequency here, and then because I passed another argument. Uh, for zeta, let me put zeta of 1 in this case. I try to plot this and it doesn't give me what I would expect, but that's because I'm plotting a quant complex quantity. I need to plot, in this case, let's do the magnitude response. So I click magnitude on my calculator pad and now I see something that looks um, perhaps a little more, no, not too familiar at this point. Um, and that is because uh, I have not actually defined frequency uh, my independent variable. MathCAD is trying to guess at what I'm interested in. So I could actually explicitly define frequency, but instead let me just uh, set the limits here. So I'm going from 0 uh, to 10. And this looks a little more familiar. But uh, let's put this on a log log scale. Turn some grid lines on. Change the color of the grid lines. Okay. Now I have a problem because it doesn't like doing a log scale that starts at 0. That's not possible. So let's put 0 0.01 to 10. And now we have something that is more familiar. I can uh, copy this, and insert, comma, control V, paste it in, and let's try 0 0.3. Now we see a second response that has some peaking because the system is um, under damped. Now let's put it to 10 here. Well, oh, I'm over 10. All right, there we have it. Now additionally, we could look at the phase response. To get to the phase response, let me just copy both of these. I could do it on a second plot, but I'm going to show you how to turn on a second axis. Um, do that here. Yeah, this for phase, I want to make it a linear versus log scale. So I don't want to check the log scale for the vertical axis. And it appears on the right side. Now what I want to do is uh, I want to type in uh, argument. That's how I get to phase arg. And uh, let me delete this one here. Arg. All right, now I have an argument uh, displayed. Let's make these solid. Um, the only thing is I'm in... These are by default in radian. So if you want to display them in degrees, uh, you can simply divide by degrees. Now it's going to plot these in degrees. And as expected, we start off at 0 degrees, and eventually we'll arrive at minus 180. Put minus 180 here to force it to that. There we go. So that's how you can make a frequency response plot in MathCAD.